Hello, Dr. Noob here. So, today's tutorial is about controlling your character with the gamepad. I will go deeper into the input management of Unity and it has actually nothing to do with the Corgi engine itself. This is a pure Unity thing. I will use the character that I've created with the Corgi engine, but if you are looking now this tutorial and you have never done anything with the Corgi engine, it doesn't matter, it works with the normal Unity input management. Very well, let's jump right in. So I created our character Super Fox, which has now three abilities. He can jump, he can um, run, and he can use the jetpack. All those three abilities are reflected under project settings, which can also be obtained if you go here to edit and project settings. So if you remember from a previous tutorial, the input manager has name player one horizontal. And here we have defined that we will use A and D, but also the arrows left and right. And we have also put uh, up and down and we have here for the jump the space. We have for the run the left shift and we have for the jetpack the positive button too. So let's test that shortly. So we can jump with space, yes, we can walk and run with the left shift and we are able to um, use the jetpack if we go and press the button too. Okay. So that works. So I guess the first solution would be if you have money, then you can buy a solution in the asset store. I've heard that there is one asset which is called Rewired and it should be good. I have uh, not bought it, so I cannot testify if it's a good solution. But uh, anyhow, it is when you want to support more than one controller and if um, the controller is disconnected and connected again, that it maps rightly. So I think it's a very nice solution as far as I've heard. If you have really, really money, so then um, please leave me a comment below and I contact you for sponsoring. Okay, so the second solution, if you don't have the money, is um, to Google for the controller that you would like to support. If you are doing a game which um, is then uploaded to itch.io, I would recommend to try to find out which is the most popular controller for your audience. Normally it is the Xbox controller and the PS4 controller. So you go to Google, put Unity PS4 controller mapping, and then you find some pictures like this one for the Xbox controller and this one for the PS4 controller. So those are the most uh, common one, I would say. So let's take now one example in here and uh, this part is also important for the third solution that you find out the logic about this input manager. So let's say we would like to have here the right and left axis. Also, uh, what I mean is the horizontal movement on the sixth axis. Oh, and uh, maybe jumping with the zero button. Okay, so you go here to the input manager and you see you have here horizontal and uh, vertical. This is, I guess, for the normal Unity 
persons. Um, I have for the Corgi engine the player one horizontal and at the moment this is set for the key or mouse buttons. So I would still like to leave that on the keyboard. So that means you can copy that one with duplicate array element and then configure it. So I have that prepared here already. So there is a second one which is called exactly the same, player one horizontal. And here I have um, I have the configuration. So you need to make sure that if you want to use an axis that you don't have that on key or mouse. You should have it on an axis and then go here to the sixth axis. If you want, let's go back here. If you want to use also this normal X axis, then you can have again another one in here and oh and have that on the X axis. So now it should support for the Xbox controller this axis as well as this axis. So you see you can have as much as you like. I personally think that if your game is one game which only one player is playing then I really recommend to get rid of the other ones which you don't need because the more you have the more complicated it gets and maybe there is two same values so make sure that you are not duplicating the same values on different ones. So if you're really just a one player thing then leave it that way. Okay that's solution two. Okay but the third solution is for the ones that have a controller which is not a popular one. So if you have bite one in AliExpress or I don't know where and you cannot find the mapping for it. I have not found any tutorial how to deal with this situation. You need always to tweak around and experiment and find out which button belongs to what. But I came across one very good asset and this is the controller tester. So here is the asset and thank you very much for the guys who have created this one because then you can go to Unity and download that. Uh, you know you have the possibility to go here to the packet ma package manager and download the controller tester. I have done that and now if I go to scenes then I can use the controller test. First of all you need to make sure that you have connected your controller. So at the moment I'm having here my 8-bit 8 8-bit DO Pro Controller and I'm connecting it. So we're setting up wireless controller very well. So now that it's connected you can go here to the controller test and then click on play. And now you see, well you cannot see how I'm touching my controller, but you see in here on the axis that the button that I would like for the horizontal movement is the seventh axis. And for the buttons I will start here, so this is number one, this is number two, this is number three, and the next one will be four, no, zero. So one, two, three, zero. So now that I have this information I can go in here 
and change that to the seventh axis. So I'm using the joystick axis and the seventh axis, so that's good enough for me. Then for the jump button, I would like to use, uh, well, the keyboard for the space, but also the joystick button one. So joystick one, button one. So now I can copy that one and go to run and paste that and change it to two. So, and here for the jetpack, oh, it was two before, I deleted that. And here I would like to have button zero. Uh, one thing, if you really have put something, so let's say, Joy stick one and you go out of that it's deleted so I think that is very smart from unity that you can just type in and it forces you to use the right uh, string for it okay so now that I have set that up I go now to my sunny test and try that out. So yes, I can move with the axis, with the seventh axis. I can jump with my gamepad and I can also run, yes. And I should be now able to use the jetpack. Great! So that's it. I hope you liked my tutorial. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Bye!